Hey, hey, friends. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite hops, especially down in Brazil. Our plants were monsters. And not only the size of the cones and the plants, but the resinous. This is a classic American hops. Today we're going to talk about Chinook hops. And welcome to Hoppy Hour at Hops World. Tip number 114, Chinook hops. Let's do it. So Chinook hops is actually a bittering and an aromatic hops, a dual use, which can be used throughout the brew. It was actually created in 1974 at the new Clean Plant Network of the United States Department of Agriculture. And it was created by scientist Chuck Zimmerman. So the genetics of Chinook is a little complicated. The female that was used in the cross was a Petham Golding cross with a Brewer's Gold derived male. And the male that was used was a wild Utah female that was crossed with a USDA male number 63102. Okay, nice and simple. Anyway, when they made that final cross, arrived Chinook and interesting the wild female from Utah was a Neo-Mexicanus. Chinook has Neo-Mexicanic genetics in it. It was actually given a number in 1980 by the USDA and in 1985 it was made public and available for anyone that wanted to grow it. Chinook is considered one of the four C's of hops which include Chinook, Cascade, Centennial, and Columbus. They're four of the robust most popular hops grown in the United States through the 80s and 90s. Chinook was definitely in the top 10 and still might even be in the top 10 grown in the U.S. It's grown in the far northwest in Washington, Idaho, and Oregon. It's also grown in Michigan. It's grown in New York on a large scale, but many small farms have up to an acre or less uh, throughout the United States. It's used Throughout your boil, when you're making beer, in the beginning it'll give you a great bitterness, but it also has them resins and aromas at the end of the boil that can definitely help to be used either with a single hop or used mixed with other hops. Well, without further ado, let's go out in the hop yard and show you our Chinook plant. Hey, hey, here we are in our experimental hop yard, Southeast Pennsylvania. For you guys that don't know, we are growing all kinds of different varieties and we're breeding hops here. So this here is our Chinook plant. And it's actually not that pretty this year, but I love Chinook. Our Chinook in Sao Paulo when I had our first little hop yard were monsters. The cones were the biggest cones I've ever seen to this day. And the plants were to the ground, to the wire, full and full of nice big cones. And the Chinook is so resinous, so oily, but we'll show you. And let's talk a little bit more about Chinook. Chinook is actually considered uh, bittering hops and an aromatic hops. So the alpha acids are pretty high. This is one of the super alphas when it came out, 13.9 to 15.3%. Betas between 3.6 and 4.9%. The flavors has definitely an earthy flavor, a light spiciness, smoky maybe, but heavy pine and resins. That's what it's really known for and definitely a distinct grapefruit flavor. When I rub it between my hands, my fingers stick together, the smell, strong grapefruit on these cones right here that I just rubbed and we're gonna do it again. 
So substitutes, if you can't find Chinook hops, you can try Galena, Nugget, CTZ, which Columbus, Tomahawk, and Zeus, uh, and Northern Brewer even is a decent substitute for Chinook. What beers can you make with this hops? Some of the stronger ones, the APAs, American Pale Ale, IPAs, Lagers, Stouts, Barley Wine, Winter Ale, Chinook, I love beer made with Chinook. Uh, production from 1,600 up to even 2,200 pounds per acre. I'd say medium, medium high. The hop storage index is 70% at 70 degrees Fahrenheit for six months. So as far as spacing, I really consider Chinook one of the big robust American varieties along with the other three C's and spacing should be minimally 12 feet but most farms I think are at 14 feet and three to four feet between plants. And well, let's take a better look at our Chinook plant from the roots to the wire. So here's our Chinook plant. Down here at the bottom, looks like we got some spider mites attacking, but like I said, we have bugs and we have disease, we have everything. It's an experimental hop yard, breeding hop yard. We're trying to create plants that are resistant to these varieties, and these are mother plants that we use for breeding. So this Chinook plant, you can see it's got pretty thick stem, I would say. It's already turned woody this time of year. Leaves are large some of them are really large and from here on up i'd say it's pretty heavy with cones it's even jumped over to this other plant but our chinook plants in san Francisco, sao paulo brazil are full 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 to the ground i tried to only go with two to three binds this year maximum just to keep the spacing so the plants actually wouldn't mix together. So it's our breeding, it makes it complicated. But there's our Chinook plant. Well, there you go. Everything you want to know about Chinook and maybe a little more or maybe a little less. But seriously, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. Or if you have another hops variety that you want me to try to talk about, I'll see what I can do, okay? If you liked your tip today, hit that thumbs up button, help us out, okay? I really appreciate it. And I thank you for being here. I'd like to make a cheer with you at Hoppy Hour at Hops World. Cheers to life.